Hey, Trevor Matthews coming to you from Emerson's Copeland Lab here in Brantford, Canada. Today I want to talk about a quick electrical tip on a Copeland compressor. So right here, I've already taken apart to quicken the video. So if you're going to check the electrics on a compressor, first thing is to lock and tag out your contact, uh, your system. And I've seen a lot of guys take it, and even me in the field, I've taken, check the winding resistance from the contactor. If you do that, and you get weird resistance, you need to take those wires off, the compressor here, and check each of those wires. And make sure that the wires or the contactor itself is not the one that's causing the issue or the fail is failed. After you determine, okay, the wires to the contactors are good, the contactor itself is okay, then you go right to the, off the compressor. So I'll do, do a quick one. I'm opening it out now. So 1.5, we know this winding is good. We go to this one. Oh, well this one, we got a lot of resistance here. And then we got more here. So right now we're assuming that this is a failed or something's wrong with this winding. But it doesn't stop there. A lot of people will stop here with an electrical failure. We've seen it many times, time and time again, where the compressor comes back, it's a warranty compressor, as an electrical failure. What you need to do is take these off. There, I already taken the screws off, taking these off and check this insulator. This is an electrical insulator. And I've seen it on four and 60 compressors doing an inspection where it's just this that failed. And the compressor is still, the windings are still good. What could happen, it could break here. You could have carbon tracking, maybe a high moisture area, low temp, I've seen it quite a few times on low temp system. So check this and then recheck your, your windings. So that one's good. Okay, no. There's still something wrong with this winding here. But once again, here's another insulator plate. There's, there's bolts on there. So let's take this one off and then you uh, inspect this. Because once again, this could be cracked right here or have carbon tracking that's causing potentially a dead short, we'll say. And then once again, you do it straight from the compressor. Okay, now I'm right at, right at the compressor, nothing else that could be solved. We have an issue with this winding. One thing, if this is cracked, one of these, and you do replace this, you want to make sure you use the proper torque for these. AE1219 is the torques for Copeland compressors, because we've seen it as well. Technicians put this on, tighten it really down, tighten it down real good, and they break the inside of here, which leads to a real electrical failure. So if you're a technician out there that experienced this before where the insulator failed, or this is something new, shoot something in the chat. I'm Trevor Matthews and let's get a conversation going.